So you want to know the pros and cons to buying a home in the current market? Well, I'll let you know. There are 16 pros and only one con that I can see right now. Thanks for sticking around. And on this week's segment of what's happening in the market versus bringing you just the stats, we have a bonus, which is really thinking about the pros and cons of buying in the current market. Now, having helped thousands of people over the last decade, we have seen nothing but eight years of upward compression to pricing and less homes available or on inventory, which really means a pro for sellers and a con for buyers. So let's go through these 16 pros that buyers are starting to see right now, which was not common in the previous market. So right now we're seeing seller paid closing costs, which is where sellers will provide you a certain amount of money towards helping you with the closing costs that are required to buying a home or acquiring a loan. Right now we're seeing seller paid rate buy downs, meaning that the sellers really want you to buy their home and they'll provide you a concession, not for the cost of getting your loan, but to permanently buy down the rate of your loan. Now, for some people that is advantageous, but another thing they're doing, number three, is seller paid to one rate buy downs or other programs that are basically where your first year of owning this home is 2% less than that of what the current rate is, making it much more affordable for you in your first year, as well as a 1% on that second year. So then that way for the next two years, you've got a lower interest rate than what the market's currently providing. And as you start following the market and looking into potential refinance options in the future, this can buy you the time while saving you the money. Seller paid repairs, just meaning that the sellers will pay to make certain repairs to the property if you're willing to buy it. As you start looking at seller paid improvements, so not just repairs, but actual improvements, meaning sellers are sitting on a lot of equity so right now they're willing in some circumstances that if you say, I really like this home, but I want a deck built. I really like this home, but I want a fireplace built. I really like this home. I want a pool built. Now, I don't know if they'd go as far as building a pool, but some very well may because they have the cash. Their goal is to get the home contracted and sold. So very seldomly, can you just start walking through homes with some of these 16 pros or thoughts to finding out what is of value to you to the singular con that I'm hearing about right now. So then as you also look at not just seller paid improvements, but price negotiation, meaning negotiating the price down, which ultimately leads to paying less than the asking price. So as you start thinking about price negotiation, that will be throughout the process, your ability to negotiate price downward based off your satisfaction level, or just that of paying less than the asking price when you contract a property, meaning that it's not throughout the contract, it's immediately you're buying it less than that of what list price is. Remember, in the height of the previous market this year, we were seeing homes at 107% contract price to list price, meaning what it sold for to the contract price. Now you've seen about an eight or 9% swing in that list price to contract price. Start looking at things like no need to waive your appraisal. So number eight, a lot of people are waiving appraisals and having to bring cash. When you really think about it, buying a home $50,000 over the list price, if you have that $50,000 to bring in cash, how much of a rate buy down could you potentially do? And I'll tell you, you can get it pretty dang low. So as you also start looking at no need to waive the inspection, all right, or even before I move on to that one, number 10, appraisal negotiation. So let's just say the home doesn't appraise at the value of the property. A lot of sellers are willing to lower that price now, which is giving you favorability, whereas in the past, you had to bring that cash, all right? We were talking about number 11, inspection negotiation. Throughout the process, negotiating what you found once you open the hood and your inspector actually looked at the property, all right? But now there's some interesting ones. These are very important to many people that I know. Number 12, time to think. 
instead of rushing real fast, there's a big, big stat out there. It's saying that almost half of the people who purchased homes over the last two years are not satisfied with the property they purchased. They had to move quick. All right. This is also contingency contracts, giving yourself time to sell your home now that you're under contract on one. It's amazing. We went from people requiring you to have a home sold to even entertain your offer to now you can go find your home and put your house on the market within a certain period of time. You could buy a home for $1,000 now. Well, what do we mean? There's a lot of down payment assistance out there. Is the number exactly 1000 Not necessarily, but a lot of people have come with only that amount of money. A lot of the grants, things that are helping people with down payment assistance. Well, when there's no offers, a offer is definitely strong. So a lot of those type of programs that weren't eligible, not because you couldn't use them, but because just reality is most sellers wouldn't accept them. And then last, you have longer contract to close, meaning that maybe you don't want to close for 60 days. Maybe you don't want to close for 90 days, but you're contracting now, taking a home off the market, giving yourself a couple months, delaying those deadlines. There's just a lot of strategies right now that are massive pros for buyers. Now, what's the con though? It's higher rates. It's a singular con. Now, I don't think that's just my opinion. I believe it's a statement of fact. What I mean is that we had everybody wanting to buy and sell properties in the first quarter when rates were very low. Then rates jumped up to 5%. A lot of people got out. They got comfortable with that and got back in. Then rates went to 7% and they got out. And now we're surprised to see as they go to eight or nine maybe, less and less people are in. But remember, can anybody promise that the rates are going to drop next year? No. But every singular recession that we've had prior to this, housing let us out of it. And as we got through the recession, they dropped mortgage rates. So you can refinance later. But at the end of the day, if you take advantage of some of these strategies, even at a higher percentage rate that you bought down a little bit permanently, even if you're happy at that price, if you love the home, well, you're going to do what most people do with real estate, which is hold it long term. And throughout time, you'll take advantage of the strategies and advantages of being a homeowner. So I'm not saying go buy a home, but what I'm saying is make sure that you continue to look at the pro con and be smart with calculated risk. And this is a great way as you look at timing the market, it's a great time for buyers. Now, as we start to see things change, each of those pros will be taken away and there'll be more cons, but they're really not cons because at the end of the day, they're just the advantages and disadvantages because if you don't own a home, there's really very few cons to owning one. As long as you can make a payment, you feel comfortable with the decisions you've made and you love your property. Acquiring more real estate really can't go wrong there. More people create wealth and have equity from that of real estate than any other portfolio of investment. So there's a lot of good when it comes to real estate in any market. I hope that I've done some good in helping you navigate this market. And for today, that's the pros and the cons of buying a home in the current market. I'm Justin Martin, and as always, keeping current matters. I hope that you are doing well, your family's safe, your businesses are moving forward, and life is treating you well.